Listening Practice Test Copyrighted by audio.sag6789.com Part 1 You will hear a passage about the Southeast Asian Games. Listen carefully and fill in the blanks in the table below. Now you have time to look through the questions. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully and complete the task. The Southeast Asian Games, also known as the Sea Games, is a biennial multi-sport event involving participants from the current 11 countries of Southeast Asia. The Games have seen numerous records being set in various sports, such as athletics and swimming. For instance, in athletics, Hirayo Ogung Wibo of Indonesia holds the record for the 100 meters event with a time of 10.17 seconds. In swimming, Jonathan Tan of Singapore holds the record for the 50 meters freestyle with a time of 21.91 seconds. Football has been a significant part of the Sea Games since its inception. The most recent Sea Games in 2023 saw Indonesia clinch the men's football gold medal, while Vietnam secured the women's crown. This marked Vietnam's eighth win in the women's category. The Sea Games have seen different countries dominate the medal tally over the years. The 2023 Sea Games, held in Cambodia, saw Vietnam top the medal table with 136 gold, 105 silver, and 114 bronze medals. Over the years, countries like Thailand and Indonesia have also had strong performances in the Games. The Sea Games serve as a platform for athletes in Southeast Asia to showcase their talents and foster camaraderie among the participating nations. With each edition, the Games continue to grow in stature, setting the stage for more records to be broken and champions to be crowned. Now you listen to the recording again. The Southeast Asian Games, also known as the Sea Games, is a biennial multi-sport event involving participants from the current 11 countries of Southeast Asia. The Games have seen numerous records being set in various sports, such as athletics and swimming. For instance, in athletics, Hirayo Ogung Wibo of Indonesia holds the record for the 100 meters event with a time of 10.17 seconds. In swimming, Jonathan Tan of Singapore holds the record for the 50 meters freestyle with a time of 21.91 seconds. Football has been a significant part of the Sea Games since its inception. The most recent Sea Games in 2023 saw Indonesia clinch the men's football gold medal, while Vietnam secured the women's crown. This marked Vietnam's eighth win in the women's category. The Sea Games have seen different countries dominate the medal tally over the years. The 2023 Sea Games, held in Cambodia, saw Vietnam top the medal table with 136 gold, 105 silver, and 114 bronze medals. Over the years, countries like Thailand and Indonesia have also had strong performances in the Games. The Sea Games serve as a platform for athletes in Southeast Asia to showcase their talents and foster camaraderie among the participating nations. With each edition, the Games continue to grow in stature, setting the stage for more records to be broken and champions to be crowned. That is the end of Part 1. Let's move on Part 2. Part 2. You will hear a talk about the use of charcoal in some regions of Vietnam. Listen carefully and write true or false for each of the following statements. Now you have time to look through the questions. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully and complete the task. 
The use of charcoal for drying agricultural products, particularly cashew nuts, by residents in the southern region of Vietnam is a practice rooted in tradition and necessity. However, this method has significant environmental implications, contributing to pollution and global warming. Charcoal burning releases a substantial amount of carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas, into the atmosphere. This not only contributes to the global issue of climate change, but also leads to local air pollution. The smoke and particulates from charcoal can cause respiratory problems and other health issues for the people living in these areas. Moreover, the production of charcoal often involves the cutting down of trees, leading to deforestation and loss of biodiversity. This further makes worse the problems as forests play a crucial role in isolating carbon dioxide and maintaining the balance of our ecosystem. While it's important to respect and understand the economic realities and cultural practices that led to the use of charcoal, it's equally crucial to promote and implement more sustainable alternatives. This could involve the use of solar dryers or biofuels, which have a lower environmental impact. Education and awareness about the environmental consequences of charcoal use, along with financial and technical support for transitioning to greener methods, can play a significant role in addressing this issue. It's a complex problem that requires a thoughtful and multifaceted approach, balancing the needs of the people with the health of our planet. In conclusion, while the use of charcoal in the southern region of Vietnam is a significant environmental concern, there are potential solutions available. It will require concerted effort, resources, and commitment from all stakeholders to make the transition to more sustainable practices. Now you listen to the recording again. The use of charcoal for drying agricultural products, particularly cashew nuts, by residents in the southern region of Vietnam, is a practice rooted in tradition and necessity. However, this method has significant environmental implications, contributing to pollution and global warming. Charcoal burning releases a substantial amount of carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas, into the atmosphere. This not only contributes to the global issue of climate change, but also leads to local air pollution. The smoke and particulates from charcoal can cause respiratory problems and other health issues for the people living in these areas. Moreover, the production of charcoal often involves the cutting down of trees, leading to deforestation and loss of biodiversity. This further makes worse the problems as forests play a crucial role in isolating carbon dioxide and maintaining the balance of our ecosystem. While it's important to respect and understand the economic realities and cultural practices that led to the use of charcoal, it's equally crucial to promote and implement more sustainable alternatives. This could involve the use of solar dryers or biofuels, which have a lower environmental impact. Education and awareness about the environmental consequences of charcoal use, along with financial and technical support for transitioning to greener methods, can play a significant role in addressing this issue. It's a complex problem that requires a thoughtful and multifaceted approach, balancing the needs of the people with the health of our planet. In conclusion, while the use of charcoal in the southern region of Vietnam is a significant environmental concern, there are potential solutions available. It will require concerted effort, resources, and commitment from all stakeholders to make the transition to more sustainable practices. This is the end of listening practice test. Now you will have time to check your answers. Copyrighted by audio.sag6789.com.